Hey there, everybody. Are you looking for a March Madness activity, especially one that will take about four days or five days to lead you up until spring break? So, or come back after spring break. If you click, uh, go to sethponder.com and click on March Madness, my students and I have created this spreadsheet for you that you can make a copy of right here. And you can make this spreadsheet a whole lot prettier. Now, if you want to make it another activity for your students, you can make a copy of this, delete wins, losses, hometowns, home states, and school websites. And what we did in my class was we then did some research and filled all of this stuff out, um, split it up, did some collaboration. So after you get the spreadsheet going, you can teach students how to do pivot tables with this video right here. It'll break up the spreadsheet by states and you can see which state has the most. Another thing you can do is teach students some formatting with uh, alternating uh, colors and conditional formatting. One of my favorite things to do, and it turns out my students now too, really enjoy mapping. So yes, you can look up every single college and drop a pin or you can follow these instructions right here and drop all 68 pins in less than two minutes. And another thing you can do is queries and filters where you can help divide um, the different regions by the, um, or the schools by different regions using many tabs as you can see down here. And then finally, you can do some data validations and filtering. I'm gonna show you another way to do a uh, big slide here in an upcoming video. If you have any questions or you have another way to level up a March Madness spreadsheet, please let me know in the comments. Have a great day.